everyone, I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer relations with uh, Cisco. Hi everyone, I'm Guillaume Sabas de Saint-Marc and I'm uh, running engineering for um, Cisco Emerging Tech and Innovation. Um, Guillaume, there were some really exciting uh, announcements today coming out of ETNI. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the first one, Panoptica? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been actually a great day for us uh, and a lot of work uh, coming to uh, fruition today. So we announced uh, two, product, two main products. So Panoptica uh -huh. uh, is, is the first. Is really, uh, Panoptica is all about uh, securing at the application level, mm -hmm. uh, cloud native applications. So that is really the, uh, a first for Cisco. It's, yeah. uh, it's a new area. We are really going after the application layer, securing the API endpoints, and uh, Panoptica is doing this. It's, uh, it's a SaaS product, mm -hmm. uh, very important uh, uh, to say that uh, it's, it's something which is easy to deploy, easy to use, and uh, even more important, which is very relevant also for the partnership between our team, is that we are going after developers. Yes. Right? We are, we, th this, is a, this is a sort of a developer first uh -huh. type of um, uh, go to market. So um, the product is available uh, freely to developers. They can sign up and start using it. And uh, we hope uh, that they will love it. Yeah, we're really excited about it because we've always honestly had a challenge uh, catering to developers as the you know, DevNet team, as the developer relations team. And so to see something like Panoptica come out where we have um, you know, container scanning and API monitoring and um, you know, cluster monitoring and all the yes. stuff that goes into it, it's really exciting to be able to talk to developers about having that opportunity for them to see into what's actually happening with their applications. Right, and uh, and it's uh, you know it, it will be a roadmap, right? So um, applications are getting more and more complex. Yes, uh, they are multifaceted. They are made of different ingredients. Uh, Sometimes um, the developer would go, just go and develop you know their own business logic and uh, do their own uh, microservices. Uh, Sometimes they would just you know accelerate their development by consuming third-party uh, uh, PaaS services. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes they will go with uh, with serverless functions. So. This, this is what we have to take into account, right? What the industry needs is this sort of um, uh, fragmented, uh, multi-type uh, of objects, uh, literally forming applications. And we, we, you know, the ambition for Panoptica is to go and secure all of this. So uh, we have a really good start, but obviously, you know, our ambition is to expand and you know, cover, cover more and more of these different facets of what is a modern application in terms of security. Yeah, um, we had Shannon McFarlane on DevNet Snack Minute yesterday for our, our first live one, and he was mentioning that uh, moving applications from these monoliths into being uh, microservices uh, architected, so to speak, um, added a layer of complexity that actually made it hard to have visibility into what was actually going on to the application. And it sounds like Panoptica is at least trying to address the security concerns around that. Um, but then another product that, that you guys mentioned, Kalisti, am I saying it right? Kalisti, absolutely. Yes, yeah. um, uh, adds in an, a layer of observability from what I understand. Yeah, observability and, and really connectivity. So what, what Kalisti does and sort of Kalisti and Panoptica works hand in hand, right? So Kalisti is really catering for the, uh, the primary need of literally wiring your application, mm -hmm. right? Because your application is now composite and made of all these different microservices and third-party APIs which you need to consume, how do you, how do you wire your application? Right. Because the perimeter of your application is not defined as it was the case you know, a long time ago as I'm writing a monolithic application and I'm deploying on this server. Mm -hmm. It's literally vaporized across mm -hmm. the cloud. So to, to define the perimeter of this modern application, you need your service mesh to actually connect all the constituent, all the components of it. So that's exactly what Calisti is doing. And the reason why Calisti and Panoptica are sort of uh, working hand in hand is because the service mesh which Calisti is providing, uh, which is really important to, you know, for the application to function, is also one of the primary sensors for the security which Panoptica oh, okay, is doing. Oh, okay, brilliant, so that makes sense. They, they actually work hand in hand. Okay, that's fantastic. And then the other thing, um, if I remember correctly, uh, there was a conversation about um, edge compute and sustainability. Um, can you comment yeah, on that? Yeah, so that is, um, well, you, you, now you're, you know, you'll, you'll see me excited about this, right? Okay. So, um, <laughs> so, so, so the, the, the charter for our team is really to go and open you know, new big uh, bets for Cisco, mm -hmm. and we are really going into the application and API layer, mm -hmm. uh, and that is, you know, with security, connectivity, observability, so um, stay tuned, more will come here. But uh, we have another really important focus area, and uh, we are looking into edge. And the idea here is uh, really simple, actually. 
Um, for a number of reasons, more and more of the digitization use case, which we want to help our customer to address, require actually some proper application deployment at the edge. So we already have a lot of stuff at the edge. We right. have IoT, we have um, gateways, but if we want to get to the next level of digitization, we need to bring proper business logic at the edge. We need to bring the full application paradigm at the edge. And today, it is incredibly possible and powerful uh, to um, develop and deploy application in the cloud. Yeah, right. right. Uh, if you try to do the same thing at the edge, it's suddenly much more compli complicated, actually close to impossible. We do not yet, the industry do not yet have a proper edge native application. Ah, okay. part. And so one of the mission we're on is really to bring all the great capabilities of developing a rapidly and efficiently application in the cloud, but actually make it also available for the edge. Mm -hmm. And this is how we think we will crack the next sort of level of uh, use cases, digitization use cases. And the reason why this is important, just to conclude on the why for the edge, is because all of these use cases are going to be super data intensive. Of course. And you know, most analysts are considering that uh, the majority of these applications will be AI based. Oh, yeah. And so this is exactly what we are going after. So we are showing here for the first time, we are showing the demo here uh, on, on our booth. And this is really a way to um, package and operate the entire lifecycle management of applications at the edge in a super simple way. Yeah. Um, the edge needs to scale. It, it, it doesn't scale the same way the cloud is scaling. You of know. course. Cloud would scale you know, with these giant data centers and uh, you, you, you scale with this cloud native infrastructure. When you want to do the same thing at the edge, you actually scale geographically. Mm -hmm. Talking with our customers, retail, um, quick service restaurants, um, manufacturing, they have all these geographically dispersed point of activities, mm -hmm. uh, point of business, uh, um, shops, uh, all these things. And so we need to find a way to make the edge scale literally, physically, geographically. Right. And you won't have you know, an IT, SRE, DevOps team in each you know, yeah. of these locations. So we need to find ways to dramatically simplify how this can work. That's really exciting. Edge native, I like that. It's Edge native, that term. It I'm is definitely going to yeah. steal that. Um, you know, that's kind of, it's, it's an exciting thing because, you know, um, I, I've worked in, with Meraki devices a lot and we always kind of posited, hey, you know, those cameras are pretty powerful. Um, you know, is it, you talk about edge compute devices and you think, why would it be so hard to do that? But it's the management of the actual platforms that, that, that comes into that. Yeah, element. you're absolutely right. And um, a lot of good uh, collaboration with the folks at Meraki. And these cameras are actually, on one side, they are a camera. Yeah. But if you, if you forget about the lens, yeah. you're left with uh, what we call a smart device edge. Yeah. And we believe that you know, these compact, small, com yet powerful, compute uh, application nodes, mm -hmm. a lot of the future of Edge will rely on such devices. Yeah. And so this is exactly uh, the, type of, uh, the type of Edge that we are uh, looking after. Cisco has a wider strategy <laughs> on, on, oh, on other e types of Edge, yeah, yeah. but we are going after the smart device That one edge. came to mind because I know that there's, uh, there's uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence built into those as well. So I exactly. mean, it takes a large amount of compute at the Edge. I know it's happening on the cameras as well. So that's why that came to mind. Um, and so for application developers, I can kind of see some really cool um, abilities to build out proof of concepts very quickly because now they have, instead of having to worry about building out these cloud services, pay money for these public cloud institutions to, to spin up your application, you could have that device that potentially is acting, even though it is an edge device, but acting as, as a way to deploy their application um, rapidly. Um, and I know I can think of a, a handful of use cases off the top of my head yeah, that I would benefit from something There will like be that. a ton of use cases, um, and you know, we're bringing K3S, so really like the compact version right. of, mm -hmm. of Kubernetes it's to, you know, again, as I said, to bring the same paradigm we have in the cloud and put it at the edge. Yeah, that's really exciting because, you know, we think about uh, application deployments and in, in scaling up and scaling down depending on usage, but, you know, actually bringing it into the physical world is, exactly. is crazy exciting and absolutely necessary. Um, so uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, that's unfortunately all the time we have. Uh, for those of you out there who want more information on Panoptica or Callisti, um, you can head to etni.cisco.com. Thanks, Guillaume. Thank I you, Matt. I appreciate it. Have a great day.